The moment is the only thing we have. So living means living in the moment. The moment is life. The moment is creation. There has been a time that I was working in my second job as a lawyer. I realized that this would not fill my life. I was not working for the career, I was not working for the income. At that moment I knew I had to go and look for something else to find what my life was about. There were circumstances and I found a book about a guy who had traveled the world and stayed for a long time in the Zen Buddhist monastery. I decided, yes, that's what I will do and I will use that time to stay in the Zen Buddhist monastery for a while and understand their discipline, understand what the essence of Zen is about and understand the essence of life. In the monastery, I um, was confronted with the turmoil in my head. The monastery means doing three hours of meditation in the morning, three hours of meditation in the day, in the night. So you, you start noticing how your mind is doing is following a sort of pattern and it repeats itself endlessly. For one day you may think about what am I going to do after this monastery, after this is over. But these were all questions that my personality had. But and I learned I began to understand that my thinking is occupied with what people think of me what I want to become or want to be. You become the observer of your thinking. And that is what meditation is about. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's about a lot more, but this is one of the first. Another aspect of discovery in the monastery was that it hurts. It hurts terribly. If you have a week of full-time meditation, you, every time you sit, your body starts to ache. Either it's your back, or it's, it's your legs, or it's something else. You're waiting for the bell to end this round of 45 minutes, because you sit in rounds of 45 minutes. Here is another functioning of the mind that we resist pain. And what I learned, the more you resist it, the more hurtful it gets. But the resistance gets got worse and worse and the pain got worse and worse and then there is a moment after a few days, maybe the, the fourth day, right, that all of a sudden it became so much that my brain couldn't grasp it anymore. So it's like it flipped and my brain died. And all of a sudden I was in a peaceful situation. I had no pain. It was like screens opened and I was in a place of beauty. A man came in and said, hey, now I know what to do. Where I am now is that I realize that we live in two realities. And that's that that's other reality you enter from that standpoint or from that viewpoint of looking at this reality and sort of receding into another reality. And that's a reality that's not about thinking, that's a reality of being. These two realities merge when you are just here and now in the moment. When I start painting, I wait until I am in that here and now. And I, and I really have it in a, in a way that I 
can feel that I'm there in the sense that I feel my energy inside my body and the energy around my body merge, become one. So I become the larger energy field. But it's like a movement in which you do not think, it's just happening. And it's an expression that is sometimes just goes through me and it, it happens. It's getting into feeling, it's getting into the moment. You get into that field until it happens and you pain and then you have a painting and then all of a sudden you see it and you know, yes.